Hey everybody, a lot of people have problems with their soap crumbling when they cook it. I mean when they unmold it, excuse me. So uh, I'll have people say, what did I do wrong? Because when they go to cut their soap, it just falls apart. Or they'll have the problem of uh, it's so hard and they can't get it in the mold. And then when it comes out, they got all these air pockets and stuff in there because it wasn't fluid. Fluid, fluidity, the fluidity was bad. It wasn't fluid when they put it in the mold. And this happened to me. Um, I left my daughter in charge of my soap. Naughty Bridget. Hey. <laughs> She was busy writing down tax receipts and she let this soap get to 140 degrees, which is a no-no. You cannot mold it at 140 degrees. So uh, some people would say, oh no, I've got to hurry. Let me put everything in it and try to get it in a mold. No. Don't put your essential oils in. Turn it on low. Stir it every five to 10 minutes. And that's because the heat sources around the edges so the center is not going to get warm. So you got to, I mean, fast. So you got to stir, 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 and, um, and put it on low until you bring it back up to 160 degrees or 158, 159, not 161. Your many essential oils, I have found with my experience when I do it, that they will flash off at 161. So then cut it back off when you get it back to the right temperature and start all over with your adding your essential oils or your fragrance. But never try to mold it if it gets under 160 degrees, or I shouldn't say start molding it at 160. And then I tell people, be quick. You know, so uh, we're gonna pour our essential oils in here. And I had a spatula just for them, but I just got back from Walmart. I had somebody call me with a minor emergency and I had to run to Walmart. And so I left my soap here. I called my daughter, I was like, we got an emergency, come help me. And so she selfishly, selflessly uh, came down to the store on her day off at night and That's let that. my soap get 140 degrees. Dude, <laughs> supper was cooking. I was fixing to enjoy. <laughs> she said supper was cooking. She was fixing to enjoy supper. Yep. But no, she's got to come down here and help mama. <coughs> oh, I ate some peanuts and I haven't had the chance to give any water. My throat is dry. So now I'm going to stir this quickly. This is not the way you do it. Not like this. It's got to be quickly. You don't want to splash it out of the crock pot. But you want to get it in there and get it stirred up at a reasonable amount of time because you uh, have time is not on your side during the molding process. Would you like some water? Oh, isn't she sweet? Thank you. Yes. She says, I'm a good girl. And so we're gonna start we're gonna start putting this in uh, and I'm stirring quickly to get it all stirred up. And there's a certain amount of absorption process that has to you know happen. And so because I got two, I can just bounce between them. But sometimes I'll just see that I need to just you know, let those essential oils sit there for a minute because they're not blending in. And you may never have that happen to you, but it happens to me. And, uh, and so speed is a part of the process here at the end. It's not baking where you can take your time on stirring all the ingredients into the cake mix. Well, we've got a heat here that we've got to take care of. So uh, we've got to get this done while it's warm. If we wait, if we're slow on our stirring and it starts getting cool again too quickly and you just put essential oils in it, so that's going to drop your temperature down. Uh, so you've got to stir quickly and you've got to get back to that opaque appearance uh, that you had because 
when the essential oils is not blended properly, uh, you get uh, the problem of it will, if you don't get all, if you don't like now, it's all back to the opaque look. And if you don't stir it till you get all the shinies stirred in and it goes back to an opaque look, then when you cut your soap and put it on the curing rack, it'll weep essential oils. So, so now I've quickly stirred that in. So now I'm ready to mold it. And I gotta get to moving on that before it gets cold again. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Bye everybody.